It is Wednesday, which means Wednesdays with Ward. The head coach of the Avatar Heat, Troy G. Ward, joins us. Episode four, it's a camp check-in. We are almost concluded uh, the nine-day camp. Uh, the scrimmage on uh, Friday will close things out. What's happened thus far, and how has it been in your mind? Well, what's happened this far, Ryan, is we've we've worked really primarily on a lot of system stuff, even though we have a lot of trout guys here. Um, you know, we've tried to put in some systems. We've tried to develop an element of hard to us as to how we want to play and, and how crisp we want to play and the pace that we want to play at. Um, it's That's a difficult balance this time of year because you're trying to get those things in place at the same time systems. There's a lot of new bodies around. Um, but that's primarily what we've done, and I think we've been able to accomplish that in preparation for Friday. It really is two-pronged, and I think we referenced it last week. You're trying to teach and trying to select 22 to 25 guys. I mean, that's that's two different activities, but you got to get it done through one camp. Yeah, we do. We've got to be uh, multitasking out there in terms of what we're doing right now. And, you know, we've got the management team here from Calgary, with the coaching staff here from Calgary. So there's a lot of people looking at this thing in a lot of different ways and, and how it all fits and into our organization and what players will stay here and what players will eventually have a maybe a chance based on how they're playing in training camp to go up when the training camp opens up above at some point, hopefully. Uh, so... You know, there's a lot of different things, and, and of course, if you're a player, let's think about that. Like, you would just be like, wow, I, I didn't have an NHL training camp. All the heat's on me right here, so to speak, and, and the heat is on, so to speak. Like, it is on, and the guys understand that, and they're working very hard to be the best they can be. I've asked a lot of players about the competitive level of the camp. How high is it as compared to prior years, and are you getting what you've expected, given that you don't have a preseason? Yeah, I think um, I would say that. I would use the word uh, urgency. There's just a different urgency around here right now because usually at this point in time, players have dropped down and they kind of know where they stand. And, and coming into this right now, the players don't have an idea where they stand, both relative to us or Calgary or even if they are going to play in possibly Utah with our minor league affiliate. So, you know, the players uh, have a high of level of urgency to themselves on a daily basis right now. They're they're not kind of putting themselves through the motion, so to speak. They realize every day it might be their last. You got a lot of skill. Like, I'm looking at this forward. You could have four lines of scoring lines in theory. Like, that's how tough cuts are going to be. You've also got three guys that are legitimate AHL goalies, a lot of big bodies on the back end. I mean, this isn't going to be easy come Saturday or Friday night, is it? No, it's not. It'll be a very difficult decision uh, with a lot of players, and you know, we expect that. I mean, uh, that's also a sign of an organization that's making great strides. You know, that's the one thing about this whole thing is, yes, we have to make some tough decisions, uh, you know, between Jay and John and, and myself maybe, and uh, I won't be as involved in it as much as those guys, but th we have to make tough decisions. But a couple of years ago, maybe we didn't have that many tough decisions. So it's a sign of an organization that's getting healthy in the right areas, and we've got an influx of, of talent. How does uh, things break down following that Friday game? Do you go right into evaluating talent and making cuts? And then when do you come together as a group that will prepare for Peoria on the 12th? Well, we'll take uh, Saturday off because we'll let a, some players go on Saturday for sure, Ryan. And then uh, we'll come back Sunday and practice. We'll go almost kind of a session and a half on Sunday with whichever group they give to us. I don't know how many that'll be at this particular time. Uh, but it will really start to ramp up in terms of probably – little bit more intense because they're going to lose that edge to them like all right I'm here so the edge is gone now the urgency I went through is now kind of sifted through my system now it turns into a strong focus on how we have to play and in our intensity will probably go way up on Sunday hopefully through Wednesday or Thursday of next week all cuts come on Saturday was the word is that still the case well I'm not really sure that's a you know that's I've like I said I don't have a lot of say in that I think uh whether management does it all at once or they do it in a couple of different stages. A lot of that will have some variables involved, like injuries, uh, different things that will happen to players while they're here, bumps and bruises. So, you know, I think that will just unfold, and uh, they'll, they'll get to that point at some point. We look forward to the 12th, uh, but lots of work between then and now. Thanks for your time as always, Coach, and uh, we'll do it again next week, Episode 5 of Wednesday with Ward. Sounds good. Thanks, Ryan.